for most people that don't understand, a- average power is utilized for most measurements of any sort of like power benchmark, that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's the standard. It's used across the board because it's just a basic average. There's uh, it's, and it's a consistent metric. It's straightforward. Find, right. Um, maybe we can, Nate, can you explain the difference between average power and normalized power? Yeah, normalized power would be, uh, it's Dr. Coggin uh, invented it, and it's supposed to take into account accelerations um, or uh, surges in power and not weight the zeros as much. So if you do average power and you stop pedaling for uh, even a couple seconds, it really pulls down that average power. Yeah. So what it's supposed to be is for your normalized power, you're supposed to generally be able to do that same amount for average power. Mm-hmm. That doesn't uh, hold true for everyone. This yep. is more like a, a general thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and usually normalized power, I don't think I've ever seen someone do a normalized power and be like, I can do more average power than that normalized power. Yeah, never seen that. But the opposite happens a lot. Yes. They're like, I, no way could I do that average power, but I, it's a nice normalized yeah. power. Yeah. yeah, because normalized power is used to estimate the total metabolic demand. Yes. Mm-hmm. So of, of surgery races and, and normalize it down to what would be the metabolic equivalent to riding a steady state effort. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because I mean, if you think about it to accelerate and then, you know, every watt that you gain, therefore thereafter mm-hmm. is tougher to, to, to get, right? So it tries to take into account all these sort of demands, like you said, Chad, the metabolic demand. Right. It's not without its flaws though. And Dr. Coggins is the first to admit it. Yep. Yeah. And it's not even flawed. It's, it's what it's meant to be. And people are trying to use it for things that it's not meant to be. And that's where it, it gets a little it's, contentious. It's slightly flawed. Um, it, yeah. there's things called, uh, NP busters. Mm-hmm. So Pete Morris is a great example of this. He can do an hour long crit and have like a four ten normalized power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He can't hold that for 10 minutes probably. Yes. Right. But in defense of normalized power, Dr. Coggins says that normalized power is at best plus or minus 5%. Yeah. So if you were to take that very number and reduce it or, or divide it by 1.05, yeah. he'd probably fall, fall pretty close to, to what his hour power for is. For an hour? No, no. Mm. Probably Pete, not for Pete. Pete is, I'm Pete is crazy. <laughs> and, um, so well, this is another so, thing to know. So, if so maybe he's exceptional, but. Yeah, exactly. Pete is exceptional. So if you're crazy um, anaerobic power output. And highly neuromuscularly equipped. Yep. Then your normalized power for something like a crit can be an NP buster. And Dr. Crockin talks about this all the time. Oh, it yeah. can be far um, exceed what you could do on an average power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you get a whole bunch of TSS from that because you get, you derive TSS from normalized power yes. and FTP. Yeah. So you'll see like a lot of the time, uh, the instruction has been from Dr. Coggin actually that it's, n- and I think in quotes, not to be trusted. That's a, those are his words, not um, to be trusted for efforts under 20 minutes, under yeah. 20 minutes. Um, so, but the interesting thing when you look at this though, is that for, if you're keeping, let's just say it's you, and this is where things get a little muddy. So, so join us while we venture outside <laughs> of anything that's scientific here. <laughs> uh, but, uh, this is where things get a little bit muddy, but for me, I actually I keep track of normalized power, just, you know, mentally speaking for efforts under 20 minutes. Uh, and the reason that I do that, and, and I'm not comparing myself to others. I'm not comparing even one race to another that is dramatically different, that sort of a thing. But for the beginning of a mountain bike race, I feel like a lot of the time average power just doesn't tell the story. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's a crucial point of the racing that I focus on. Right. Uh, so a lot of the time it doesn't tell the story because you may have some turns or it's just so hard and the throttle gets twisted wide open every time you come out of every turn, instead of just, you know, you're back at a normal wattage and you're carrying it through. So it's, uh, and, and because of that, I keep track and, and granted, if I say, well, this start is entirely different from this one, then it doesn't carry as much in for, you know, or the, it's, it's not as pertinent, but when it's a similar start. Yeah, I use that, but I only use it for myself and I could be entirely wrong and I could be off base with doing it. Yeah, and it's worth stating that it's not, 20 minutes isn't a hard cutoff. It's not like above 20 minutes, normalized power is terrific. Yeah. It's like the longer the duration, the better the normalized power, the more representative it is of a steady state equivalent. Yeah, yeah. and I think that with more data, it just becomes better. And then on top of that too, I think it was also within uh, Dr. Coggins' best interest to declare such a thing, right? To not have people using it for under 20 minutes like that. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, uh, back in design for yeah. 2012 maybe or 2013 mm. I, I read him saying that and i said okay <clears throat> and in the in the software i removed normalized power for anything under 20 minutes <laughs> yeah there was a revolt uh, <laughs> i said but dr coggin said it and everyone goes i don't care i want my normalized power <laughs> because people just want to see a big number yeah well, it's it's fun it's, it's fun, fun. So, yeah it's um, fun and i i think it's to your point i think it does represent like I look at a crit, I look at the first five minutes and it, it says 380. And then I look at the the next five minutes and it says 320. I'm like, oh, I went really hard in those first five minutes and it was easier in the next five minutes. Mm-hmm. Right. Even though average power might be the same. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. th- to me, it, it does tell you a story. And as far as a uh, NP 
PR chart, mm-hmm. normalized power PR chart. I totally want it. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> I, I know critics will say, just don't look at it if you don't want it. Yeah. But I'd like to do it for um, normalized power, power to weight, and normalized power to weight. Because mm. um, PRs are fun. And yeah, yeah. I think it just – it. it for yourself, for five minutes, like you get a five minute normalized power PR. Wherever you derive your motivation, yeah. so be it. I mean, yeah, exactly. I, it can just it can tell you too that this race was harder than this previous race. So to mm-hmm. your point to the start, yep. still um, information to be gleaned. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and think, then this is anecdotal, but my my best ever <clears throat> excuse me my best ever hour normalized power was three eighty one, right? So it's yeah. back in Nevada City, and that was that was my these are the glory days, right? <laughs> that that's nice that's plug. all the better it gets. But <laughs> but did you have a uh, Q rings on it? But at the time, <laughs> but at the time, I could not convince myself that I could go out and ride anywhere, even yeah. 40 minutes at that power output. So yeah. if I apply that plus or minus 5% and I divide that 381 by 1.05, puts me down to a 363 FTP, which is legit. Yeah. I feel I feel that I, I know that I could have done long extended efforts repeatedly at that output. Yeah. So I do think there's something to that, that five or <laughs> plus or five minus percent. You yeah. got to answer the curings question. <laughs> no. You didn't have like any oval no, rings on there? No, no. That was like Ooh, 2000. Okay. These are good. Nine. Eight. So the other thing with this is whenever you're looking at normalized power, I always look at the average power for the same duration. And I feel like that's a bit of a true north to utilize whenever you're comparing things um, because then you can kind of see – uh, even then, you know, it, it just helps, I guess, add a little bit of a consistent component. So then when you see a number, you make sure that you don't get too far off base, uh, mm-hmm. when, when you're comparing them. But I think it's a, it's a really helpful thing, especially for racers that are doing surgy efforts. Uh, I know there are plenty of people that just completely disagree with normalized power in every respect. And they just, you know, swear yeah, by I average think it, power. If they use it as it's designed to be used, there's nothing to argue. Yep, exactly right. Uh, it's got its intent and it's got its use and you can use it, uh, I guess, just with caution in certain circumstances below that 20 minute uh, mark. But uh, as for myself, I'm going to keep looking at big numbers and being happy about it. <laughs> uh-